5.30, a rabid skunk attacked a little girl. This little two-year-old was playing outside in Weymouth when the animal came out of nowhere. WBZ's Louisa Moeller spoke with the girl's family. Fatima Bennett likes to twirl and fall into her brother's arms. Oh. <laughs> but last night, her family says the two-year-old was the target of a rabid skunk during a frightening attack. She was hysterical, as we all were. We were screeching. The night started with some grilling outside their Weymouth home when Fatima's grandmother, Betty, says an aggressive skunk showed up. And I had a, a thing the kids were playing with, and I took it and slammed the skunk with it to try to keep it from coming up on the deck, but it kept coming. The skunk was between Fatima and the house, and before her mother could get to her, Betty says the skunk latched on to the toddler's leg with its mouth. Skunk was hanging from her leg, latched on, so my started kicking it. Finally, Fatima's mother pulled her away, leaving the Weymouth Fire Department to grapple with the backyard intruder and eventually put it down. But it took a while. The skunk kept coming at the firemen. They said it would not give up. They were spraying it directly in the face. And it kept coming at them, kept coming at them. Fatima and family headed to the ER where she was treated for scrapes and scratches. And now she faces a course of rabies shots after the skunk tested positive. But Betty says her little one is keeping a positive attitude. She'll be completed on the 23rd. And we're looking forward to her having completed all her rabies shots now. In Weymouth, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.